Ticket to Ride Berlin. So this is the next in the series of small box Ticket to Ride games. There's about 10 of the big ones. And this is the fourth of the small ones. We already have, a, or maybe this is the fifth. There's a lot of these out there. So the small ones, this is Ticket to Ride in 15 minutes. And the last one of these that I played, the Netherlands, I believe, I was getting a little bored with the idea because they all felt the same. But you may have never played this before, so let me show you how it works. Everyone's going to start with two of these transportation cards, which are going to get, show you different colors, or the bicycle, which is wild. And you'll also draw two of these tickets, which you can keep. You have to keep one, but you can keep both of them. They're going to show you spots on the board that you need to connect on. Players are also going to start with some subway cars and then a bunch of trolleys. And on your turn, you have three actions. One of them, you can draw two cards, unless you draw a wild. If you draw a wild, that's the only card you get. Otherwise, you can draw two. You can take them from the face-up cards, which are immediately replaced, or you can take them off the top of the deck, in which case, if you get a trolley card, you're lucky. The other thing you do is you can discard cards to build a route on the board. So I could pay these two orange cards, the bicycle being wild, to put two trolleys here, or I could discard two orange cards to put one subway card here because it costs two orange cards. So subways cost a certain amount of cards, but you only put one out, and that will connect these two cities. While if you put out the trolley cards, you'll need to place that many trolleys here, and you'll have to pay that many cards. If it's gray, you can put out anything. The third thing you can do in your turn is you can draw more tickets. You always have to keep at least one when you draw them, and then you discard the ones you don't want to keep. The game will end when someone is down to one or less vehicles, doesn't matter what type they are. At that point, players are going to score points. You'll have score points during the game for your cars that you put out. One, two, four, or seven for each of the lengths that you put out on the board. And then have you connected your tickets. If you've connected your tickets, you get points for connecting them. If you haven't, you lose points for not connecting them. And the points are on the card. You can see they're varying amounts. Whoever has the most points is the winner. This Ticket to Ride Berlin is not necessarily one of my favorites in the series, but it definitely has restored my enjoyment of it. I'm giving this one a 7.5. I particularly like the fact that the subways and the trolley cards are different. So you're sitting there trying to think how to connect your routes, but you only have one of these and you have I mean, you only have a few of the subway cars, but they can connect a whole lot more of the board per each one than the little trolley cars can. So it's still really just a small ticket to ride. There's not a ton of complexity to this game. Very easy to get done. But I think that the extra rule is not particularly egregious, and it's interesting to see how the map connects together. So this is a lot of fun. I also like the long board. Um, I, it just has a cool look to it. Fast and fun. And I think they, they've got their mojo back with these small ones. So that's Ticket to Ride Berlin.